Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. Welcome back to Dr. De La Grantis Present. We are the television talk show with the Madison Avenue look. We critique the symphony, the ballet, the grand opera, the best movies, the best plays. We do a personal profile as well as a business profile right here. I do an opening monologue, and it is my pleasure to bring innovation right into your homes. I, I take a great sense of pleasure in finding people who you might not know because they're working so diligently behind the scenes. And on that note, I met a man with a vision, with voice. And, but he wasn't experiencing victory in every area of his life. That man was Mr. Adam Ortiz. And Adam and I clicked immediately. We, we were introduced by Mr. Uh, Sadiq, Adish Sadiq one of the local entrepreneurs. And the vision that came out of that experience was, why aren't there more women entrepreneurs? And what can we do to change that? Well, Adam's vision is to have a Miss Entrepreneur opportunity. You've got Miss America, Mrs. America, you've got Miss Teen, but all those young ladies, okay, I'm Bishop Dr. De La So just tighten your seatbelt up. All of those ladies have to do things that they're not really comfortable with. I mean, they got to, to, to win a contest, the major portion of it is based on their looks, OK? And that's the truth of the matter. And if you don't like the way they look in the evening wear, well, just wait till the next commercial is over, because they're going to put on less than that. And then you decide you're going to judge quote, their intelligence based on their looks. Well. Miss Entrepreneur shoots that notion in the foot. Miss Entrepreneur has brought about a cadre of young women who have vision, who have voice, and they too are looking for victory with that passion, with that vision. And we are blessed to have here at Dr. Della Grantis presents some young ladies representing the Miss Entrepreneur concept right here and now. Would you put your hands together as I begin to introduce this to Thank you very much, ladies. <laughs> oh, you can do better than that. Come on. I'm going to begin on my left. You're right. And I'm going to begin with a young lady who just flew into the country. Um, she didn't invite any of us here on staff <laughs> to go with her. Uh, but I'm going to. I'm going to let you, uh, next time? Next time. I'll oh, I'm good. I'm holding time. you to that. Uh, to the, the, All I got is my word. The, the, uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, but the good news is like she was going out of the country celebrating her birthday. And it just happens to be doing the same era that I was celebrating my birthday. And so I, <laughs> I want to give this young lady the opportunity <laughs> to introduce to all of you viewing uh, out of the 124 markets we go into in the US and the 70 plus countries outside of America, I want you to meet <laughs> one of our newest guest co-hosts. Tell everybody who you are. Um, my name is Kendra Smith. Uh huh. How, how are you guys doing out there on the greatest show on TV right Hello. now? Hello. Hey, the greatest show on TV right now. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing today, guys? Today? I That's am it. super califragilistic, expert, <laughs> <laughs> blessed. That's wonderful. As Thank am you. I. As am I. Yes. Am I. Yes. yes. And you are an entrepreneur? Yes, I am. Right now, um, I do a lot of freelance bartending. Um, also, I am a part-time model. Um, I do acting. Um, I try to dibble and dabble in a numerous amounts of things. I try to keep my mind occupied. Wonderful, try wonderful. To keep it occupied. Well, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. And you are working hand in hand with Mr. Ortiz. Yes, I am. Okay. And you have also another beautiful young lady who I uh, clearly is a model as well. Introduce mm -hmm. her. I'll let you do that. This is Miss Nafisa. 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 I, I, have, I have problems pronouncing her name. No, this is no Miss problem. Nafisa, thank Dr. Delagrante. Oh, thank you. It is a pleasure meeting you it's again, pleasure meeting my you dear. As well. thank <laughs> you. Yes, yes, yes. Good strong handshake. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's good, good. And this is an area of expertise for you as well. 
Well, yes, um, I like to say former model. Um, I've modeled, uh, wow, since I was Oh, no, no, you don't. No, use your big voice. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> there you go. Have fun okay, with well, it. what I was saying was I'd like to say former model. I work a lot behind the scenes and production and the coordination of uh, different shows and uh, things of that nature. Um, but I have modeled for a number of years mm -hmm. um, all throughout the United States. I'm from Chicago originally, so I, my business, which I inherited from my mother, I actually um, started off in her dance school modeling agency doing that from age three where you didn't have a choice you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of like the Jackson Five you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. more like the Muhammad Five mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. yeah we were um, grew up in a house a lot of talent and very uh, focused on the arts so that's something that I do but my day-to-day -day work is um, I am an insurance agent. I sell life and health insurance on Very a daily good. basis. Yeah. Yeah, but my side thing, my avocation would be the modeling and the uh, producing shows, uh, casting videos of male, female models, and uh, just more behind the scenes work. And sometimes I still get in front of the, the uh, camera. I have a video right now that's still on YouTube. So. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. How many hits? Wow, hundreds of thousands. Are you serious? Like, yes, people are asking, who is that tall girl? <laughs> All in other countries. So if I go walk down in Amsterdam, they'll know me. But. Hello. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. Yes, thank you. Thank you Kendra, very much. Kendra, tell me this. What does one have to do? What are the qualifications to become a contestant at Ms. Uh, Entrepreneur. Um, well, we try to basically the the whole idea of the project. So, see, see, the reason why I'm asking, not only is she here, but see, I have a very beautiful wife who could model herself. <laughs> so I need to know if I need to sign her up and that. Uh, well, and, and I got gorgeous daughters. Is here. that so? Go, how, hey, many, how many daughters do you have? Four. Oh, is that right? Twin wow, daughters. One's nice. in Chicago at Columbia studying music. Oh, right, yes. The other one is, is at uh, Howard mm -hmm. and, uh, studying architecture in DC. Yep, I live there yep. as well. And then mm -hmm. one is. <laughs> right there. Somewhere around here. In the here. control box. <laughs> You're good, man. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere one, one around the, here. Yeah, lovely Monique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Um, well, really, and then that's Tristan in Detroit, by the way. Go ahead. Um, really, the, the contest is not based on necessarily looks. It's a group of women who are motivated and who are interested in spreading confidence and character to other young women to build strong female role models for the future. Ah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. If you could say anything to the audience about this organization, what would you say? Um, I would say women, keep your heads high. Um, there are resources out there available to you to become successful, to do the things in this life that you dream, your wildest dreams, from owning a catering company to being a CEO of a Fortune 500 company yes, to ministering right. in Africa to children to yes. whatever it is that your heart desires. There are resources available out there to you, and we are here to help you in any way you can. Excellent. Hey, you got to that up. Good. Good. Now, to my far right, there's another tandem here of lovely young ladies, talented. Tell everybody viewing your name. My name is Elizabeth Chavez. Yeah, you're that big voice, though. You're that big <laughs> voice. Now. You, voice. Yeah, you know, I, I'm letting you act like you're the guest co-host as well. So yeah. look at that camera. I'm going to give you camera number two. Uh, tell them your name again. My name is Elizabeth Chavez. Chavez! <laughs> you're really, you're not, twisted, huh? Right, dude, put, see, that's your name. You gotta, no, no, dude, I'm telling you, put everything you got into it. Make people remember your name. Do something special. Shake your hair. My dude. name is Elizabeth Chavez. There you go, girl. There you go. Good. Good. And then we know the lovely Cynthia, but you introduced Cynthia to us. Um, hello. What is your name? <laughs> My name is Cynthia Hughes. Cynthia Hughes. Uh -huh. Now, you can't go back to that little baby voice now. Yeah, okay. Little dad. Um, Cynthia, what are you here for? No, 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 no. That's a baby voice. Come on, let me get over no. here. No, no. You can't go, can't do what you do. No, you got to do like Dr. Delagrande. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? You know, use a big voice. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Cynthia, what are you here for? Oh, you said the same question, huh? Yeah. You're determined to know why she's here. Go ahead. I want to know. Okay, I'm here to uh, represent Miss Entrepreneur. Miss Entrepreneur. Mm. <laughs> okay. That's okay, I'll help you, I'll help you. I, you, you, got help, you got help here, but seriously, what motivated you to become involved in Miss Entrepreneur? Okay, thank you for asking me that. Yes, I'm a professional of uh, dentistry, and I'm working in dentistry for, uh, this is 14 years, mm. and I've been helping lots of people over there. Uh, the reason I think entrepreneurial to become a 
myself, an uh, entrepreneur, because I think uh, I'm looking for a freedom. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. uh, what you would say, prof uh, financial freedom. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you're working, you know, I'm in the business to helping people already, so mm -hmm. I'm thinking if I can using another uh, resources to become now, myself. Actually, and forgive me. But I need you to use your big voice too. I'm oh. tempted to pull your mic up, but then I, but you know, but I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll do. That. Thank you. <laughs> so use your, your use your big voice. Yes, ladies, use the big voice. Okay, but but I like that. I like that that you're looking for time freedom. Yes, I am. Mm. Mm. Yes, and I'm also looking for a residual income, so ah. that means I can retire early. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> and so the Miss Entrepreneur. Uh, format is inclusive of giving the opportunity for women. Are there any men involved? Sure, sure. We have a team of men. There's an entrepreneur in all of us. There's an entrepreneur in all of us. But not for Miss Entrepreneur. <laughs> no, no, not they can be in the background this time. Yes, yes, See, in now, that's what I want, to, want you to get out there because I want the women to know because the, the playing field has not been level when it comes to being in business for yourself. Uh, women need opportunities like this to make the playing field level. Am I right? Yes, yes absolutely. Right. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, having income that comes in, well, some people call it uh, mailbox money, coming while you're sleeping. Yeah. This opportunity is there through this program, yes? Yes, absolutely. And uh, during uh, the past few years, actually, uh, you are noticing that when people, a lack of education or financial to taking care of themselves, especially in dentistry, you mm -hmm. can see it's because they're lacking of the freedom, lacking of the financial resources. So I think this will be a good resources for everybody mm. to taking care of themselves. Thank you, thank you. I want to thank both of you. In fact, all four of you lovely ladies, I thank you for coming and sharing and for my new partner, Mr. Adam Ortiz, for the vision. That's fine, where, oh, there I am. Okay, good, good, <laughs> good. All right, all right, good, there I am. Now, that's the shot I want, good. Um, I, I want to take a break.